Well, hello there. Welcome back to the Shans Experience. I hope you enjoy your stay and visit again. Talking to you. Talking to you. All right, guys. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see in the title, today I will be making a pizza. This is an easy recipe to follow. Anybody can do this. All right, guys, I can do this in a sleep. So stay tuned and let's jump in to the video. recipe is not not complicated for the dough all you need is five ingredients plus warm water so this is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour right and I have some instant yeast and I'm just gonna be using one teaspoon not a tablespoon one teaspoon guys Right. Right. And so I'm basically adding all my dry ingredients. So I'm going to add two teaspoon sugar. One. Two. And I'm gonna add half teaspoon salt. Half teaspoon. All right, and that basically does it for my dry ingredients. So I have my two and a half cups of flour. I have one teaspoon yeast, half teaspoon salt, two teaspoon sugar. All right, so I'm just gonna mix these together. I'm gonna combine them. Now I'm just gonna add my wet ingredients to this all right so this is two tablespoon soybean oil you can use any oil any oil that you wish so I'm just gonna pour in my warm water pour in my warm water not gonna add it all at once, I'm just gonna add it gradually. So this is basically like when you're making fried dumplings or wild dumplings, guys. <laughs> and guys, don't watch my nail polish. I had a mani pedi thing at the spa with my father and when I say at the spot of course I mean at home she did a, a decent job alright so we still need some more alright so when I finish doing this part of it guys I am going to need the nail yep and let me get this out there guys i don't own a pizza pan at the moment i don't and i wanted to try and get one because you know but the closest place to me didn't have it and i didn't want to have to go out of my way just to get it and you know coronavirus so i didn't bother to push it I'm going to find a workaround guys I'm going to use my large skillet 
it can go into my oven so guys if you don't have a pizza pan you can try this recipe at home if you don't have a pizza pan you can try this all right you can use if you have a a, a good quality skillet a large enough one you can just use that I, I think this should be enough I also don't own a rolling pin so I'm going to be doing this without the rolling pin and I don't own a pizza cutter so yeah guys so I'm basically just doing this with whatever I have in my house already just so you guys can see that you don't have to like go out to your way all right my recipes are simple guys nothing to break the bank so I'm gonna get into it guys Alright, so I'm going to need this for about five minutes, guys, and of course I'm not gonna have you guys here with eating and watching for five minutes. So see you guys after I'm through kneading. Five minutes later. Alright guys, so I have my dough here. I am going to get another bowl and I'm gonna basically rub some oil in the bowl. And I'm gonna place this in the bowl. Place the dough in the bowl. I'm gonna get one of my dish soils. Alright, and I'm going to cover this. I'm gonna leave it for one hour. And after an hour, the dough should have doubled in size. So we'll see. Alright, guys, catch you in an hour. One hour later. Okay guys, so it's been one hour and let's see, wow, can you see that guys? I'm pretty sure you remember the size of the dough when we put it in, just look at that, I can smell it. Alright guys, so I have it in my skillet because as I told y'all before, I think I don't have a pizza pan with me right now. It's not the best, so I'm just gonna kind of make some crust. And I don't want it too thin, so I'm not gonna stretch it to make it too big. This is enough for me right now. Alright, so... I have some homemade pizza sauce here. Again guys, if you want the recipe for that, you can comment comment down below and I can do a video on that for you guys. First I'm in the middle. guys so yeah I don't want too much sauce so this is enough for me so my oven is heating so remember to preheat your oven all right so next guys I have my cheese my mozzarella and my white cheddar can you see the difference so I'm gonna go in generously I'm just going to do two pizza guys, the dough is enough to do two of this size pizza because I'm going to do mine with less cheese. Guys, I am so excited for this to be finished. After this, it's just 20 minutes in the oven, well 15 to 20 minutes in the oven and we are good to go. Next on the list, dum -da, da dum I have some pineapple and barbecue chicken. 
don't know how guys I don't see pork no pork Right, so let me just go in with my pineapple slices. Pineapple on pizza is life. It's everything. Everything, guys. Oh, forgot about my second pizza, y'all. <laughs> And guys, my barbecue sauce, it's bomb. It is bomb. Like, I would use my sauce over store-bought sauce any day. And I'm not just saying that to suit my own horn or anything like that. Because that's not me. But it's really good. It's really, really good, guys. As I said, if you want the video, just comment down below and I will do it so you guys can see for yourself. Also guys, if you want a video on how I do this barbecue trick in here for the topping, again, just comment down below. And there you have it guys. There you have it. There you have it. Alright, so I'm gonna get this in the oven. I'm gonna do my next pizza and then I'm gonna put them both in the oven 15 to 20 minutes each and then I will show you guys the finished product. Stay tuned!